Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make slow cooker short ribs. Crock-Pot beef short ribs is such a great hearty meal for those cold winter months. Today I'm going to show you how to make it step by step. It's super easy and it's also easy to customize it to build a whole meal. To start, you'll need about eight short ribs, which is about four pounds. And you want to season those with salt and pepper. Then we're going to place these into a smoking hot skillet and sear them on all of the sides. You're looking to render that fat just a little bit. And I've rotated it just on its side because there are four sides that will need searing here. Now searing is technically an optional step, but it's one I always like to take because I do feel like it's worth the extra amount of time and effort for that additional flavor from caramelizing the fat just a little bit before popping it in the slow cooker. However, if you're running short on time, just pop these into the slow cooker. I'll just set this pan down for a second. And we'll pour in three cups of beef broth into our slow cooker. Now, some people like to add in a little bit of red wine at this point, and you definitely can replace up to one cup of the beef broth with red wine. However, just be warned that not all of the alcohol will cook off in the slow cooker because it's cooking at such a low temperature. Then we'll pour in a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce and a teaspoon each of onion powder and garlic powder. And I like to whisk those in real quick. And then we'll take each of our short ribs and place it down into the bottom of the crock pot. They don't need to be covered with the liquid completely. This is a braising method, so you just need a wet heat. I like to pour in any of the liquids that were left in the pan from rendering all that fat. And then last, I'll add in a sprig of rosemary on top, which is an aromatic. And let me tell you, this smells amazing while it's cooking. And then we'll just pop the lid on, and then we're gonna cook it on low for eight hours. Now, I told you you could make this a whole meal, and you definitely can. You can throw in some chopped onions and some chopped potatoes and carrots and have those cook in the slow cooker alongside the short ribs. Or you can just cook the short ribs up by themselves. I like to serve my short ribs up over some mashed potatoes, maybe even some polenta, and it goes killer with a side of gnocchi. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.